So what I'm gonna do here, let's move the secants and the tangents to separate sides. So I'm gonna move the secants to the left side. So I end up with five secant squared theta is equal to five tangent squared theta plus five. So what I get on the right side, I'm gonna factor out a five and I get tangent squared theta plus one. So this is equal to sine squared theta over cosine squared theta plus one, which is equal to sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And this becomes one. So it's one over cosine squared theta. What I just did is I just proved that this is equal to secant squared theta because secant squared theta is one over cosine theta. So this is equal to secant squared theta. And if you look, that looks exactly what's on the left there. So this is five secant squared theta is equal to five secant squared theta. All right. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.